meal and conversation. All are invited to the table to hear the message of inspiration and hope from small business owners across the country as we celebrate diversity in culture and cuisine. Welcome to Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America, hosted by Cynthia McAllister. Hello and welcome to another episode of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America. And I'm your host, Cynthia McAllister, and I'm here with a fantastic guest, Miss Kayla Barnes. So before we begin, of course, we have to start with the food. Now, she has brought this wonderful dish, and it's something that's quite healthy, which, you know, nowadays everybody needs a little extra healthy right now. So, can you describe the name of this dish, and then how did it come about, Kayla? Yeah, well, thank you so much, Cynthia, for having me this morning. I'm super excited to be here. And the recipe that I shared with you is just something super simple and easy and fun. It's an avocado egg salad with uh, a bell pepper as like the bowl or a cup. And I just love it because it's so simple. Anyone can make it. Uh, you don't really need to follow the exact measurements. Um, you just kind of do everything to taste and it just makes it super fun and easy. And and you just kind of like, you can eat it like an apple, I say, or, um, you know, utilize the bell pepper as your, your serving dish instead of like a piece of bread or something. Yeah. And I like it because it's, it's light and it's refreshing and I'm a big fan of avocado. So this is right up my alley. So I really enjoyed it when I made the dish. It was really good and it's super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. Now, now, when you thought about this dish, was it something that brought back memories or what inspired you? How did you come up with the recipe to begin with? So I, so I was never a fan of hard boiled eggs. I think maybe when I was a kid, um, my grandmother and I shared hard boiled eggs, but as a young adult and as a teenager, oh, forget about it. I couldn't even think about the smell alone it was just repulsive, right? And I was like, you know what? I really love eggs. So why don't I like hard boiled eggs? And so I tried them again and I was like, wow, these are actually really amazing. And so then I was playing around with like um, mayo substitutes and I found out that avocado could be used as a substitute for mayonnaise. And I was, I was kind of going through a period of my own weight loss journey and I was looking for recipes that stayed within the constraints of the rest of the, the weight loss program that I was in. And that, that seemed to work. And it's like, this is something that I could eat even after I'm off this program. Um, so that's kind of where it came from. Um, and again, you know, it was just really awesome. And you could even throw bacon in there, throw some bacon in there. And it was <laughs> awesome. Yes. And speaking of weight loss journey, you have a business that's all about fitness, Kayla Barnes Fitness. So let's hear a little bit more about your business, Kayla. Yeah. Uh, so Kayla Barnes Fitness is an online uh, lifestyle and coaching program. I work with both men and women. And my main focus, Cynthia, is really to help men and women recognize like what's going to work best for their body, not just in the short term, but for the long term. And that really comes down to our relationship with our food and also that relationship that we have with ourselves and redefining almost like what we consider healthy and, and really making sure that the program is clearly designed for the person. I feel like a lot of times people feel like they're trying to mesh and mold and squeeze themselves into a program that wasn't meant for them. And so then they're not actually seeing the results that they want. And so what I try to do is really tailor the program, tailor everything based around what their goals are, what their needs are, what their athletic ability is. Uh, you know, are they a novice? Have they just started? Or have they been a gym rat for years? Uh, so I really try to make it more personalized for them. Yeah. Now, a lot of people who are in the fitness industry, they have a, their own personal story as far as how they got there. You know, some people say that, you know, they were way overweight and then they had to go through a whole journey to lose the weight. But as they did that, they found that they were inspiring others. Do you have a, a story about how you got to where you are? Yeah. Yeah. So um, mine's got, you know, multiple la layers, I guess. 
Uh, so when I was a child, I, I feel like I always liked sports. I played soccer. My, my brother played uh, football and he played soccer as well. My dad was a sports guy in, um, in high school. My aunt uh, used to be a gym teacher uh, for 41 years in South Carroll. Um, at South Carroll High School in Carroll County. And so I just feel like sports was in my family. And um, so I, I did play th all throughout like elementary school. And then I played volleyball in middle school. And I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was in middle school. And we monitored that, you know, every six months or so. And I it wasn't until, I guess, you know, I, I started getting x-rays that we recognized, oh, wow, you have an extra vertebrae um, that didn't fully align in your spinal column that was creating the curvature. So I had a curve above and below that spot in my spine. And they weren't really concerned with it. They were just monitoring it. And I guess I was hitting puberty at that point, And I hit a, a bit of a growth spurt and my curve doubled within the year. And so they were very concerned. And so I had to go to a specialist and I was basically told I had to have this massive back surgery. So think about it like this, Cynthia, like I think about um, butterflying a shrimp and how you cut through the spine and kind of right. flip it open. <laughs> well, that's kind of what happened. So I have a metal rod fused in my spine. And when I was going through recovery and everything and uh, you know, from a very young age, like I mentioned before, sports and the human body and just learning about this amazing machine that we are was just so fascinating to me. And physical therapy was something that was kind of booming at the time. And so that's what I wanted to do. And I went to school uh, for exercise science, and then I was going to go to school for PT. And the Lord works in mysterious ways. And he's like, Kayla, I got something else for you. And in the interim, I was like, well, let's, let's try personal training. So I got into personal training. I found out I fell in love with it. Um, the shy little girl that used to hate speaking in front of her class in school and in college is now teaching small group classes, is now walking up to complete strangers in the gym and striking up conversation. Who is she? Um, so I started personal training and I was doing that for eight, eight and a half years. And what I really loved about it was I wish that I had the person that I am for others when I first started, that confident person to help them learn how to be in the gym and teach them, you know, all the things that I learned. Do you know what I mean? Like that role model. I wish I what I had that when I was, was when I was getting started. So not only are you training people, but you're also like a coach as well yeah. when it comes to the health. Now you started Kayla Barnes Fitness and you know, you know, starting a business is a challenging thing. What made you decide to go that route and start your own business? So it's funny, I started Kayla Barnes Fitness in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, how crazy is that? Um, well, you know, I, I love what I do. I honestly, I love what I do. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. And I just kind of recognized when the pandemic hit that my job was very vulnerable, meaning I was dependent upon people walking through the door to get business. And if the gym is closed, I have no business. If there's nobody walking in the door, there's no business. And I know that people are wanting my specific set of skills. They're wanting help. They need someone to help them reach their goals. And if they can't get to me, how can I get to them? And so I just knew that my purpose ex exceeded and expanded those four walls that I was you know, working in. And so I just knew I needed to make a change. I, I wasn't, I wasn't happy at the location that I was at. Um, and I just felt in my heart that I was meant for more. And um, I think I've always wanted to do something for myself. I think everybody wants to do something for themselves uh, and to be able to speak their, their, um, have their voice heard and, and speak their truth and to work with the people that they really want to work with. And so that was kind of, you know, my motivation at the time. And so I just kind of ran with it. I took a huge leap of faith and here we are. I love that message. I hear two things. I hear faith and I hear purpose. So those are very strong messages. 
We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more of Kayla. We were looking for some place we'd never been before. So I used the Keyspot app and found Shell's Bistro. Patricia! This bistro is great. How did you find it? I used the Keyspot app, enter a location, and it finds businesses in advance. Oh, here. See? And I love that. All the information in one key spot. Keyspot. Find and share businesses, find and share services and events. All in one key spot. Download for free today. And we're back with more Food Coma Conversations Over Meals in America. And I'm your host, Cynthia McAllister. And I'm back with Kayla Kate from Kayla Barnes Fitness. And, you know, Kayla, I have to ask you, can you please share a testimony of how you've overcome challenges when it comes to business? Oh, my goodness. Well, like I said, I started Kayla Barnes Fitness in the middle of a pandemic. Like, how am I going to start, you know, how am I going to start this thing? Well, I, I invested in the right people. I invested in mentorships as well as coaching programs. And I have a coach. Um, so just immerse your pe immerse yourself in with people that are going to support you and that have been there before. You know, I mean, that's why people hire coaches is because we've been there before because we're maybe a couple steps ahead of you in your health and fitness journey. So hire those that have been there, that have done it, that know the struggle uh, so that they can, they're the trailblazer, right? They're, the, they're gonna come back and tell you, Kayla, this is how you should do it. And, and this is what worked for me and, you know, and be the support system for you. And one of the other things, I mean, you're going to have this all the time and no matter what business that you work in, you're going to have, unfortunately, unhappy customers and you're going to have people that might not be the right fit for you. And that's part of the reason why I decided to start my own business so I can actually work with the people that I know that I can authentically help. I unfortunately did have a situation where a customer was very unhappy with me and, you know, it's kind of like, well, do I stand by my personal morals and what I think is true and what I think is quote unquote right? Or do I do what's ultimately going to be the best for that customer? Because I mean, word of mouth means a lot uh, for any business. Um, so that was really challenging, you know, deciphering between what was the right thing to do. Um, but we, we, I made it work. And, and here we are, we're still here, so. There you go. So you're still getting good reviews and people are coming to you. That's a fantastic thing. Now, Kayla, you are a Keyspot business partner and we're so happy to have you. Can you share how Keyspot has supported your business? Yeah, so like I said before, you know, surround yourself with other people who are in similar situations um, so that you can bounce ideas off of, you know, it's so hard sometimes being a solo printer um, and sometimes you feel like you are alone and nobody understands what you're going through. And if you are doing this by yourself, know that there are so many other people out there that have been there and they are willing to help you. And so that's one of the benefits of being part of a, a wonderful support system such as Keyspot. And you're just with other people that, like I said, have been there and they, they maybe know a little bit more about the business in, industry and they're so willing to just to help you. And that's so awesome. Yeah. It's all about networking, making those connections and then helping each other. That's so important. Now, who are two people who inspire you in business? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I mean, my mentors for sure. I mean, they've been able to build a multi, you know, million dollar company and they've been able to help many, many people. And they've been able to help not only clients reach their goals, but also other coaches be successful in their business. And then there's some local people that I really um, look up to and admire. And I've had the pleasure of being able to work with them. Um, Johnny Slick, he's about to open his own facility here soon, and we're in very similar uh, businesses. He owns a fitness facility as well. Um, my friend Ryan owns a, a fitness facility, and I just see their passion, and I see God working through them as well, and they're what I would say men of God, and I, I just love that, and it flows through them, and it really shows, um, and I know that if I come across a client that I maybe 
think doesn't work specifically with me and they're looking for something else and they are looking for what those two guys have and they're asked like their assets or their skills, I'm definitely going to, you know, give that, like introduce them to that person to, to be like, Hey, I think you might work well with them. But no, there's a lot of people that I draw inspiration from. Yeah. And, you know, I love the fact that you want to help others and even connect people, even if they're not your personal clients, you could connect them to someone else. So that's very giving. And I, I know you mentioned that the pandemic changed the way you did business. You do online fitness. So how have you been able to inspire others being online and being able to help them online? Starting at the pandemic, um, you know, at the beginning of it, I had to really step up and kind of be, I don't want to say the voice of reason for my clients, but I really had to be their, their rock and their support system because we were all going through a really challenging time and a lot of people were, they're alone, they're experiencing, you know, negativity, we're, we're not sure how this is going to play out. This is something we've never experienced before. And, you know, I really had to draw on my faith, my relationship with God and really like bring that to every session um, and just kind of share with them like, hey, we're all going through this. The, you know, the future, we didn't know it was going to happen in the future before. And we still don't know what's going to happen in the future. That that knowing is inevitable. We didn't we didn't know anyway. Um, so you know how how is this pandemic going to change how we look at that and recognizing like if we put our faith and our trust in and in, in our you know our Lord and Savior and and we just remember that He's got a plan and even if we can't see it to just continue to follow His word and at at some point that will be revealed to us, you know what I mean? So just being authentic and showing up as myself and trying to be that support system for other people. So I guess that's that's what I've tried to do. I, I hope that it's been helpful for people. And just showing up every day. Uh, I provide free online you know, workouts just to kind of be like, hey, I know this is weird and we wanna work out, but we're afraid to go to the gym or we think that we need fancy equipment. Like we're all in this together, you know what I mean? And just kind of providing that information for them and providing them that consistency, I guess, because that's some, that's so important uh, and just being there for them. So. Now you mentioned you provide free online workouts. So what days are the workouts? What times are the workouts? How can people find out? Yeah, they're on Facebook. Uh, so just search Kayla Barnes and I provide a workout on Monday afternoon at 1230. And sometimes it's anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. And this is all Eastern Standard Time. Um, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. And then also Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Oh, so we just missed one. <laughs> yeah, you just missed it. It was really good. We used two, count them, two little pieces of um, paper towel. And we did some slider work on uh, some wood floor and we worked our legs. We did core. We worked uh, a little bit of our arms. Um, so it was, it was killer. I think I, I was hollering at the end. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a great time. I'll be sure to check one of those out. So maybe yeah. everybody out there, you guys should go to Kayla Barnes on Facebook and check out one of those workouts and follow up with her. So we're gonna take another quick commercial break and we'll be back with more of Kayla. And we're back with more of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America, sponsored by Key Spot by Quality SAP. And I'm your host, Cynthia McAllister. I'm here with Kayla from Kayla Barnes Fitness. Now, Kayla, you said you started your business during the pandemic. 
So where do you see your business in the future? Oh, so Cynthia, this is, this is my business for life. Like I, I don't see myself doing anything else. Now, Caleb Barnes Fitness is probably going to evolve and change and become many, many different things. And that's the beauty of owning your own business and being able to do your own thing. I mean, the opportunities and the, the limit is endless, right? It's the, the, the limit that I put on it is the limit that it is. Um, I'm moving back into in-person training as well as online. I really just, I honestly want to be a support system for women. I want to help women learn how to ditch diet culture, to really learn how to honor and listen to their body so that they can achieve and maintain their goals for life. I don't want them to have to keep losing weight and, you know, yo-yo dieting. I want them to be able to find something that works for them for life. And so that's what I ultimately want to be. I want to be that resource where women know to come to me for that help. Um, and if I help inspire other people um, along their journey and they become a healthier, happier version of themselves, then I feel like I've done a, a great job. So I'm just excited about all the opportunities that I have. I mean, it hasn't even been a whole year yet. And I'm still, I think, trying to figure out what I want it to be. Um, but I'm just so excited about all of the possible opportunities that I do have. So this, it's exciting. And Kayla, I'm so happy to be connected with you. You're such an inspiration. So what words of wisdom do you have for others in business or who are about to start their own business? Just do it. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's like those rocking chair moments that you're going to have with your family or, you know, your nieces and nephews, if you decide not to have children, or if you do have children, it's going to be those moments where you look back and you're going to say, you know, I, I wasted my life in a job that I hated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then when I wanted to, I wasn't able to do the things that I wanted. Right. Or, you know what? I took a leap and I didn't know what was going to be ahead of me down the road. And I just took that jump and I knew something's better for me. And yes, I struggled, but I loved every minute of it. And I was able to honestly honor my purpose and my goals in life and also help other people. So it's like, what are the stories that I'm going to tell my family and my friends when I'm older? And I think that's one of the reasons why I, I wanted to jump. I don't want to be one of those people that stuck or feel stuck in a job because of security or because of that fear. I want to be able to, you know, make the most of what God's given me and, and to do what he's called me to do. And I feel very strongly that this is what he's called me to do. So you took a leap of faith and you answered the call. That's fantastic. And scary. <laughs> it is scary, but you're following what your, your path. That's what's, yep. that's what's happening right here. Yeah, so Kayla, you shared uh, how Keyspot has supported your business. Um, why would you recommend Keyspot and becoming a Keyspot business partners to others who are in business? Again, because you got to surround yourself with the people that have what you want. If you want a, biz a successful business, you're not going to ask, unfortunately, the bum on the street. You're going to ask the person that has a successful business, how do you do it? And how can you help me? So surround yourself with the people that have what you want. Surround yourself with people that are like-minded. If that means they share in the same religious beliefs as you, surround yourself with them, um, you know, and, and surround yourself with people that you feel authentically connected to. So I definitely feel all of those things uh, with Keyspot. So I appreciate everything. Um, that it's done for me so far. And, and Cynthia, you've just been really awesome and understanding, um, such a great person to chat with. Um, I should really take advantage of you more in that aspect. So, And that's why I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you know what? Sometimes, sometimes uh, past trauma and past experiences, it's sometimes hard um, to accept help. It's hard to ask for help and it's hard to um, trust other people. And I think that's definitely something that I'm working on and asking for help is so hard for me. And um, so I just got to get more 
comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, and so that's, that's probably another suggestion to just get comfortable with being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. All right. Well, Kayla, it's been a pleasure having you on our food coma show and I love your recipe and I hope to get some more healthy recipes from you. I'm sure you have like a whole list of things. Yeah, I have a newsletter too. You can sign up to receive the newsletter and you get two new recipes every week with an article also. <laughs> yes, and we'll definitely be sharing Kayla's information. So stay tuned for that. But once again, our thank you to our guest, Kayla Barnes from Kayla Barnes Fitness. And thank you for watching Food Coma Conversations Over Meals in America. I'm Cynthia McAllister. Bye. <laughs>